Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing? Cameron Stewart calling in here from the majestic South Auckland suburb of Otara. Just absolutely rocking it out here in the hood. So, uh, just sort of get on here and uh, pump out a video. I, I've, I've been a little bit slack on the videos lately. I've um, I've, uh, I've had a lot going on with a, a lot of different things and I've been out there um, hustling and chasing it down a bit. So, uh, you know, I think, you know, what I'm going to talk about in the video now is, is, is really, really important is um, the importance of having time. Um, you know, we, we do all of this crazy stuff in business or in life or in, in our jobs or whatever the case may be to generate an income so that we can better ourselves and, and have a better lifestyle. But in most cases, most of us just end up trading all of our time and uh, to make the dollar bill and actually don't have the time to do the things that we really want to do. So what is it the most important thing in your life that you really want to be doing if time and money wasn't an issue? I suppose, you know, we're so systemized in society that we've got to go out busting our backsides to make this. And it really doesn't have to be that way. It's about working smarter and not working harder. And uh, I think, you know, I, I know from, you know, and I've mentioned before in a previous video about a lot of the young guys are getting promised this and that, going through university, um, getting these degrees and promise that they're going to have this fantastic life and all the rest of it, and then they just come out and they're on a treadmill, on a treadmill to nowhere um, because of house price inflation, the cost of living, all this other stuff comes into play and they don't actually get to live the lifestyle, or get to live the dreams, or um, get the, achieve the obje objectives that they want to get in life, uh, and then they become, uh, they start to settle for, they get this disease where they start to settle for what they've got. And you know, the reason why I started doing these videos online was there's no, uh, I don't do this for money, I don't do it for any reason like that, I do this because I feel there's so many people out there just living a lie, they're getting told that you know, going to school, going to get a good education, going to get into jobs, going to, and you'll be right. That doesn't work no more, guys. You want to be an entrepreneur. You want to be doing stuff for yourself. You want to have the ability to generate any level of income that you want, so that you can have that lifestyle that you that you that you, you dream of. And the, the problem is with uh, traditional uh, traditional jobs or traditional work. Um, it's really hard to go and achieve that because you just end up trading all your time You end up going to work eight to five or seven to, to six or whatever it is that you do in a job and Busting your backside and, and really gaining no major traction And I always say to people if you look back over the last ten years of your life How much further ahead are you from when you started ten years ago? And a lot of people who are middle-aged are not really any further ahead than what they were ten years ago and uh, that's a bit of a worry because what happens is most people plateau. See, the reason why I'm saying this is in life, it's not about how much money you have, but how much time do you have? You know, when something happens to a loved one and, uh, you know, you, you need to be there for the family, you need to be there for your mum or your dad or your sister or your brother or whatever the case may be, and then you've got to go back to work, you, you can only have a limited amount of time off. Like, that would be a logistical nightmare. So you want to you want to set yourself up now so that you can be there for people when you when you need to be there because at the end of the day we all have a burst we all start here when we're born and we all die here and in between those two lines we've got to give this life a decent shot and what I'm seeing with so many people is so many people are not living their life to their full potential and they're settling for it and you don't have to you can live you can achieve anything that you want to achieve and it doesn't have to be financial it might be sport it might be it might be religion it might be uh, charity I don't know I don't know what it is that you want to do but get out there and live your life to your full potential because time is off the es essence here we don't have a lot of time and if you keep thinking that you've got a lot of time I'm telling you another year will go by another two years another five years another ten years and you'll look back and go where the hell did that go you know, I even look at the, some of the stuff I've done over the years and I wish I'd gone harder. You know, and, and I wish I'd done things differently, but you can't wind back the clock. What's been is done. So what you can change is from now on, moving forward, and buying back your time is so vital, guys, so that you can live the life that you want to live. So you can have time. I see Arne's on here, a, a very close friend of mine, 
very, very successful property investor, and he has a lot of time with his family. He knows the importance of having time. He knows the importance of having money so that he can have security for him and his family. And that's what's missing in most people's lives is they don't have the security. I'll ask you this question. If you're working a job right now, you're working a business right now, what's your, what's your backup plan if something happens? See, I thought I was invincible when I was a young guy. I thought I was invincible. I was out working, making good money in the mines, doing all that. Then I had a major accident and then all of that got taken away from me. And then the company that I was working for turned on me. So what I'll ask you this question is the company that you're selling your soul to, you're busting your ass for right now, when something happens to you, are they going to destroy you on the heap like what happened to me? Or are they going to be there to support you? I tell you what they'll do. And, you know, that, sorry, the, someone just called me. So understand this. You need to be running your own ship. You need to be in control of your own life. Because when you're in control of your own life, you have choices, you have options. But when you're under the, uh, the, the power of someone else, someone else telling you what to do, you, you have limited options in life. So whatever it is that you're doing, go out there and have a crack for yourself. Buy back your time. Find someone or get become part of an association that can help you move forward because that's what it's about. So thanks for listening in. It's an absolute cracker of a day here in Auckland. The sun is shining. It is where in the, in the, it's, it's very cold for, for Auckland, but the sun's shining and it couldn't be a better day. So have an awesome day, guys, and we'll see you at the top. Cheers.